Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 420. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 415 to 422. And this trick right here, we have uh, some sports teams and we have a scoring system. Some teams are beating uh, this week's team that have a greater than 500 record, whereas this team got a win, but it was against a team with a record less than 500. And uh, what they do is they compare the points and there's the difference. Now, for someone who beats a team greater than 500, there it is, uh, 59, so we need to look it up here. They need to get 25 points, so this person needs 25. But this person, although they won, they beat a team with a record less than 500, so they need to go down to the second table, so it's 15. Oh no, 25, so it would be uh, 5. No problem, that's uh, straightforward how to do that. Ah, but that would be uh, a little bit difficult, um, or more difficult than we need to with two tables. Notice that the difference column for each one of these tables is the same. It's just the second column, so forget that. I'm not going to use two tables for this. I'm going to make it my, make it easy on myself. I'm just going to take that second column and put it up over right directly here. Because if the first lookup column is the same for any successive columns, forget it. Just use one table like this. The lookup for this will be column two. The lookup for when you beat a team less than a record of 500 is column three. One, two, three. All right, now the other thing is uh, we could use any symbol here. We could use X or one. I'm going to be super tricky here. Why not use a 2 in this column when they beat a, a team with a greater than uh, 500 record and a 3 here? What does the 2 and 3 represent? The columns. So that will make our formula even more easy. All right, but I want to make sure that they can only enter a 2 in this column. So I'm going to highlight and the active cell at the top is where uh, make sure you know where the active cell is and then we're going to use data validation. Alt. DL. That works in all versions. Alt DL. I'm going to say allow a list and I'm just going to put the number 2 here. Not even a cell reference anywhere. You could if you wanted. Click OK. You could even have a cell off to the side that says what column is this 2 and then if you cut and paste this anywhere you know. But never mind we're not going to get that complicated. And in this column Alt DL tab L tab 3 OK. So now we can only enter a 2 here. We still have the problem of entering two things here and that would mess up our formula. Uh, but we're going to assume that they are smart enough to, to only, because we'll get an error over here. But then that will say, oh, we have two things. All right, so what do we do? We're simply looking up the difference. Uh, for a winning team, they get this column. Uh, losing team, they get this column. So equals V lookup. The lookup value is going to be what? The difference, because that's in the first column, comma. By the way, the other thing I did is the uh, this table was set up as 10 as the smallest, but you need to take into account that there could be uh, uh, negatives here, because the, the points for and points against could result in a negative. So you have to put a really small minus number here, because they get 0 there for our VLOOKUP. All right, our table is going to be this. And I'm going to hit the F4 key because we need to lock that going down. Now, here's the tricky part, column, column index. Well, we could do something fancy, if blank, blah, 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 <laughs> but why not just use the sum function, right, and highlight these. That means you can, you always have to have one blank and one with the number from data validation. And that will put the column right here. What's 0 plus 2? Two? 2. What's 0 plus 3? Boom. Uh, and those are relative cell references, comma, and the lookup range, we don't, we're gonna, it's true, which is approximate, because that's how our table is set up. So I'm going to backspace. The default is that, so we don't have to put it in. So after the column index, I can just close off. By the way, that square parentheses right there means it's optional. So I can close that off. Control Enter, and then copy this down. Now we're going to run into a pro Oh, it worked fine there, but what about this? That's because there's some blanks there. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put an if in front of this. Um, if and if you're in 2007 or 10, you should be using if error. But I'm going to say if and this one equals blank, comma. What does and do? That means two things have to be true. When these are both blank, 
So I'm going to put another uh, uh, logical test. That one equals double quote, double quote is for blank. So now the and says if this one comes out true, which means that cell is blank, and this one comes out uh, true, which means that cell is blank, what do we want? The logical test, we just gave it an and with two logical tests. So I'm going to type a comma to get to my next argument. And the value, if true, is double quote, double quote, because we want to show nothing in the cell. Comma, the value if, if false is that VLOOKUP. So then I come to the end, close parentheses, control enter. Double click and send it down. So now, as I'm filling this out, this one is a 3, right? And that comes from the data validation. So I'm going to click retry and type a 2. Uh, this one, this person had a, a losing record, and this one had a losing record, too. All right, uh, so there's a little uh, tricky third argument sum, but that's because we could choose whatever character we wanted to go in this column to indicate that they had a beta team with a winning or losing record. We just chose two and three as a convenient number. We'll see you next trick.